Hey y'all, it's Mel Shagri <laughs> Can I learn how to say my own name? It's Mel Shagri again. And today I'm coming at you with another review. Um, these products were sent to me by naturallycurly.com and TG Bedhead. And uh, as always, I am not getting paid. And these are my honest opinions. And yes, I have the product in my hair now because that's how I like to do it. I like for y'all to see what my results are. And um, I was sent three products. And this is them right here and girl when I opened the box I was like TG bedhead like the same thought that y'all are having right now is the same thought that I had but <laughs> let's just get into it all right because my hair don't look that bad and I'm not too disappointed but let's just get into it and um when I first opened the box I was like this is not for our type of hair like this is not let me speak for myself this is not for my type of hair and how did I I came to that conclusion because of this this right here is the shampoo and this is the conditioner as you can see the conditioner is smaller than 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 the shampoo where they do that at because y'all know we use a hell of a lot more conditioner than we do shampoo so i was very baffled by that the shampoo is 8.45 fluid ounces and the Conditioner is 6.76 fluid ounces, and I think it should have been done the other way around, personally. Um, so, yeah, TG, y'all missed the, the boat on that one, because y'all would have been winning with me if y'all were uh, one of the first companies that would have actually done the conditioner bigger than the shampoo. But this was just reversed and backwards to me. I don't know why, but let's go ahead right into it. So, the first thing I used was the bedhead uh, tg elasticate strengthening shampoos transforms weak hair for elastic strength and this is it right here and let me just say real quick um this is not curly girl friendly if you are the type of natural that is very picky about your um products and ingredients in your products this is not for you all right because the ingredients and i will try to put them in the description box below if i can find them i tried to look for them but i'm going to try again so i can give you the uh, the ingredients but this is not for you if if you're on that entire that natural route or that curly girl method route um so yeah um hmm. let me just say i will not be using this again this is what it looks like it's like a, a green pearly consistency very thick shampoo let me see if i can uh, i mean y'all can see that right all right anyway smell no i'm not doing it because it's just it's just like a generic perfumey smell uh and i just i can't put my finger on it definitely can't and i washed my hair with this and this stripped my hair let me say it again this stripped the mess out of my hair like my hair felt like straw when i washed it out it had great lather it cleaned my hair it cleaned my hair a little bit too well because it just was it just felt horrific it oh uh, no i will not be using that again that just totally pulled the moisture out of my hair my hair felt that really squeaky clean like it was no no Okay, so I thought, all right, I need conditioner, and I grabbed the Elasticate Strengthening Conditioner Transform We Care for Elastic Strength, and um, you can kind of see how much I use, and I try to use, uh, I, I did try to use a bit of this, um, mm, zero to no slip zero to no slip on this one, so this was a fail as well. I I couldn't even like. When I put this into my hair, I couldn't even run my fingers through it, like even a little bit. And I, I'm not about the, the finger detangling life. You know, I use a wide tooth comb to detangle, but I could not. I could not detangle with this. It had no slip. It basically, I put it into my hair and it basically disappeared like water. It didn't like coat my hair. It didn't do anything. It didn't provide moisture for me. It didn't take away the stripped feeling that the, that the shampoo, um, made my hair feel like it you know making it didn't just it, it no I can't even put my words together about this but yeah this was a fail for me too just no slip um so these two right here um get thumbs down for me i just really did not like them it it, it, it did nothing to moisturize my hair i had to go back and and use my old faithful uh conditioner that i've been using my my favorite for the month of march but this no total fails 
but now we have this we have the tg bed head on the rebound curl recoil recoil cream and this is what it looks like and this is like to stand up and let, let me get to the smell see it's got like this it's very it smells perfumey and chemically all at the same time I don't like the smell the smell did it's lingering it's lingering in my hair it lingered in my hair after I used it um it kind of was I don't like it it kind of gave me a headache like it was just too much for me uh the ingredients uh, well I will try to put the ingredients on the bottom but the ingredients are not like something like I oh lord I can't even find one good ingredient in here fruit juice <laughs> no but anyway um uh this felt very creamy going into my hair it felt very nice going into my hair it was e easy to distribute um let me see if you can see that it's very very creamy um felt nice going into my hair i raked it through in sections i divide my hair into sections and rake it through um and the uh, oh this line doesn't have like a it didn't have like a leave-in or anything like that so i used uh, i did use a leave-in underneath um a very light leave-in not my you know the one that i use all the time i use something else very light because i didn't want to enhance this product if it really didn't work well by itself but i had to use a leave-in um something very light and then i sealed my ends with some coconut oil because i always have to seal my ends and then i went ahead and raked this through um as you can see, the results are not bad at all. Are not bad at all. So I'm gonna give this product a, a, a one thumb up and I'll tell you why only one. But um, in certain places, like let's say right here, like it's very frizzy. I'm frizzy, I'm, it's, I'm crunchy. This has a very um, crunchy hold to me. Um, it gave me a lot of shrinkage. I'm okay with shrinkage, it's a lot of shrinkage. In some places where other products would really define my curls and make them, you know, because I told you up here, it's where I have my looser texture and underneath is where I have the tighter ringlets, which it did a great job of defining. But then on the curls on top, it just left them really stringy, like you can see that, and stiff, where other products that I love would uh, give me more definition like you can see how stiff it is i don't know if y'all can tell like i flipped this over here because this piece was just it look it's just stiff it's just <laughs> it was just crazy and it's very frizzy so i just flipped it over and kind of tucked away you kind of work with it but i have a, a a nice shine to my hair very nice so but very crunchy but all in all very nice so I, I will give this a thumbs up now I will not be I will not repurchase this and I will not um, buy this myself why the price point is crazy this is 4.22 ounces and this thing right here is $17.99 no for four ounces uh, for 4.22 ounces absolutely not but all in all i mean the results are good but i've gotten better results from other products that are way cheaper so yeah one thumb up one thumb up pretty nice um crunchy is all get out so i don't really like that but i'm pretty sure if i put some oil and crunched it in and kept scrunching it i'll be good let me show you the back i don't even know what the back looks like but like i said it's a little stiff so I just don't like that it left like the stringy pieces of my curls like that's just not cute but all in all a no-go for the shampoo and conditioner absolutely no just and a thumbs up for this i wish why is it so expensive um but yeah i won't be buying it the the ingredients are crazy like i said i'm gonna try to put that in the description box i um i just I have I have other products that I love and they have better ingredients that are way way cheaper. So that's my review on the TG bedhead. So I hope this gave you some insight. Um, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. All right, talk to you later.